The Windows 10 for phone preview is here, and Microsoft is warning Windows Insider users that this is a very rough, unfinished version of what they can expect later this year when it does ship on phones. The Canadian version doesn't support Cortana, which of course Lumia Denim does on current Windows Phone 8.1 devices, but the search interface has been redesigned and it does look quite a bit better. While not all the features Microsoft promised are here, the first inklings of them have appeared. For example, expandable notifications are in place, but the apps that run them don't necessarily support them all that well. Of course, there are some changes to the core apps inside the Windows 10 ecosystem, and Microsoft told us at the launch event that a new Photos app would be coming that consolidates all of your photos and videos from OneDrive and stored on your local device uh, in a single place with new editing features as well. In addition to these native apps, Microsoft has expanded parts of its Action Center. You can now dismiss individual notifications rather than all the notifications from a particular app, and the Quick Settings bar can now be expanded. The System Settings menu has also been changed. It looks much different than it used to, and may indicate some aesthetic features that will be coming to Windows 10 for phones on a whole. Uh, lots of smaller text, different font, very un-Windows Phone-like, and a lot more in line with the universal apps approach that Microsoft is promising uh, in Windows 10. Uh, that also extends to much of the functionality inside individual apps. We see that there's this little nub uh, that allows you to scroll back and forth between text inside uh, the, the keyboard. There's a new Podcasts app that allows you to search for your favorite podcast. We found Syrupcast quite easily, and uh, it looks quite nice on the Lumia 8, 830 that we tested the features on. And overall, Windows 10 doesn't run that nicely. It's not hardware accelerated, but there are some seriously good things here, and we're looking forward to Microsoft completing it later in the year.